Hello Trendheads, it's Thursday, it's myself James, and today we are talking about Happy Meals, doing it against yourself, and of course, the one and only Peter Andre. Ross will be happy. He loves those reality wash-up stars. Someday, Ross, I'll be one of those. Then what do you say? So hello, yes, welcome to Totally Trending on a Thursday. I'm James, and you know that already, I hope. So to start off today, you may notice I'm wearing red. It is because today is World AIDS Remembrance Day. So um, it is an important day to take recognition of. It's not much of a celebration, more so a remembrance of those we've lost. We look to the future and look to those who are currently researching as to how we can stop such a horrible thing happening to those in the future. Personally, I don't have any close friends or any relatives who have been affected by AIDS, but a friend of mine on Facebook posted this status this morning and it was very sad, um, very heartfilling, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Today is World AIDS Day 2011. I'm sitting here remembering a lovely man called James who passed away several years ago due to an AIDS-related complication. I still miss him. I wish he was still around to tease me about being a lesbian knitter. When in London, only gay men knit. He chuckled every time he saw me knit. He was really important to me. He was one of the first people I met through Rainbow Support Services. He made me tea after inviting me to paint the walls. James welcomed both my daughter and I to RSS and always left us feeling included, wanted, appreciated, heard and like we were important people in the world. James made a world of a difference to me. He helped create a space where I could relax, grow and challenge myself to be all of who I am. Queer, a parent and a knitter. You knit and you're gay and you have a child? Oh my gosh, you're going to challenge everyone who comes in here. Fabulous, he said. He was right. A lot of people were challenged by the fact that I was out and have a child, and by the fact that I knit. I remember how he told me that he had AIDS. I knew not to make a fuss. I just let him tell me. I had to tell the other members of the youth group too. He wasn't feeling very well at that point and he needed us to know. I didn't get to say a last goodbye to him. I miss him so much. I'm so utterly glad I got to meet him. Every so often, I get a clear image of his lovely smiling face and feel caught between smiling and crying. Sometimes I give up and do both. Sorry if that upset or caused uh, a bit of a disruption in the emotion for anyone, but I felt it was something I wanted to share with you guys. And it's important to remember that World AIDS Day isn't just about remembering those we've lost or those who we are going to lose. Um, it's also about breaking stigma, like, you know, you can't hug someone with AIDS or you can't kiss someone with AIDS or you can't share a cup with someone with AIDS. It's ridiculous. So we'll move on from those two trending topics onto things that seem absolutely minuscule compared to something like that. Peter Andre is trending and nobody cares. The Grammy nominations have been revealed and the two shining lights coming from there are Adele because she's been nominated for a whole load of them including one I have created myself called Most in Need of a Happy Meal because Adele really. Can you sing a happy song please? And then also Kanye who is competing against himself in a category for two awards and he's also up for like seven awards. I assume at least half of those are for douchebag of the year. Century. Millennium. Time. All time. Next up trending is India and the reason India is still trending is because people are just tweeting as to why India is trending. People are actually just tweeting saying why is India trending? Because you're tweeting it. Don't ever give up is trending and I would just like to say don't ever give up on something you need to or feel you can do. The fact of the matter is you have it in you. If you want it bad enough, you'll get it. Proof of this is last Friday I passed my driving test after failing it two times previously. I absolutely rocked it this time and funnier was I had the same instructor who failed me the last time. In your face, bitch. And finally, trying today is happy December. Happy December to you all. Oh, we're on the countdown to Christmas. And then 2012, which is scary to think, you know, we're coming up to the first birthday of Totally Trending within months now. Fingers crossed I'll still be here, hopefully. And of course, with December, I am doing a video every day in December challenge, which will be my third of this year. Um, I failed August, but I did May very well. So, yeah, if you're interested, come on over, have a check it out and... You know, comment, rate, and subscribe if you're not already. I don't have anything else to say now. Feces, would you like some?